Ah, the Sega Channel, home of obscure exclusive awesomeness like Mega Man The Wily Wars and Pulse Man, as well as clunkers like Nightmare Circus. When the going was getting tough for 16-bit systems in the mid-90s, Sega made the decision to make the third installment in their well-known Golden Axe series a Sega Channel exclusive, in the US at least. Unfortunately, since many regions couldn't get the Sega Channel, including my podunk little hometown, the vast majority of the gaming public never got to play it. But in modern times, Sega have been trying to compensate by jamming it in every compilation, virtual console, and retrospective they churn out. We finally have a multitude of vectors by which to play Golden Axe 3, but does the game itself stand up? Remember that thing I said back in the Streets of Rage 3 review about how beat-em-ups around this point in time were kind of a pain because you were usually a pixel too shallow or deep in the pseudo 3D isometric view? Yeah. Golden Axe 3 has all of that problem, all while feeling significantly slower than its urban cousin. After choosing your favorite scantily clad character, including what appears to be a hill gigas from Final Fantasy VI, you're set off on a quest to retrieve the Golden Axe so the game's name can mean something. Then you walk to the right, beat up the standard mobs of Xeroxed barbarians, and occasionally steal their bipedal gastropod things. Which should be a contradiction in terms, but nothing's impossible in this interactive Boris Vallejo painting. While the actual combat is significantly diversified from its predecessors, including dashing attacks, grapples that can branch off into other attacks, a couple different jumping strikes, and so forth, it ultimately falls into the pit traps of the genre. Depth perception issues, difficulty in move execution, with so many controls tied simply to movement, a plotting pace not helped in the least by enemies having a smoke break off screen where they can't be hit, and severe balance issues. I realize that the magic takes 15 seconds or so to resolve and that there's a certain level of expectation that results from such pyrotechnics display, but one-shotting bosses? Really? Golden Axe 3 would have made a fantastic arcade game, but by the time it hit, arcades were already on their way out of the picture. So instead, we get what feels like a console port of an ambitious quarter slurper. It doesn't help that it's often found alongside a number of Streets of Rage titles, a series that took inspiration from the arcade, but was always designed for living room play. But what Streets of Rage could never have, of course, are weird gastropod Yoshi knockoffs. That's an image that's gonna stick with me. 